Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have the 1969 SUS Nickel or the San Francisco Mint Jefferson Nickel from 1969. As you can see on the left here it says In God We Trust. It's a little lot worn. Over here it says Liberty. There is a star and this is 1969 and then it's an S for the San Francisco Mint. And down here at the bottom, we have the FS, and that's for Felix Schlag, who was the engraver of this coin. So that's his initials down there at the bottom, the FS. When we look at this coin, the image, we see Jefferson's facing to the left, and we see this kind of funny little thing here. It's a little bit of extra metal right above his nose, and that's not, not any dirt or anything on there. That's actually a kind of a drop of metal that you can see right above his nose. And uh, that's just something that happens sometimes in the minting process. You get these little extra bits of um, metal that kind of stick out. And sometimes they're in kind of funny places or weird places. Um, and this one is an extra bit of metal. But what caught my eye about this, I was, I was looking through my pocket change and I found this and I said, and this is how it looked to me when I got it in my pocket change, I said, what's the mint mark on there? And, and that's, you know, with my eyes, that's about all I could see. So I kind of went back and forth. And I said, I'm just going to get a magnifying glass out. And so I magnified it up a little bit and I got it. And I said, well, I, I still don't know what the mint mark is. I know it's not Philadelphia because they didn't mint them in Philadelphia that year. And even if they had, there would be no uh, mark there. Um, I know, well, I don't think it's Denver because Denver has a D and a D doesn't, isn't quite shaped like that. The Denver Mint minted 203 million 1969 D nickels. So I said, well, maybe they made a mistake. And then I kind of blew it up and I said, well, no, now that looks more like an S, right? And the San Francisco Mint minted 123 million coins with the S mint mark plus 2.9 million proofs. Well, this isn't a proof. I mean, for one thing, the proof would never come through with extra materials on it and kind of a funky S like that. It, it, it's just very, very unlikely that it would come through on a proof set. And I've looked through probably 30 or 40 proof sets on the Internet, um, and none of them have an S that look like this. I've looked at all the error coins that I've seen on the Internet and don't see that S either. So let's blow it up all the way and see if we can kind of determine what happened here. So if we tip it up, we see that it clearly is extra material on there. That's not something that I added or did. And it's not something that anybody, there's a beautiful view of it. It's not something that anybody um, uh, did by banging the coin around or anything. Uh, it just came out kind of a funky S. Now, how could that happen? Well, one of the things that I considered was that um, that these uh, coins were all hand punched for the mint marks prior to 1985. But when I looked up the hand punched, I saw that hand punched means that they punched the S into the die for the um, for the, all the coins, not that they did it individually and punched it on individual coins. So this is not a hand punched error because if it was, there would be all kinds of these coins out there. And maybe there are. Maybe it was a hand-punched error and um, they just took every other coin out and, and none came into circulation. Or maybe um, people just haven't found them, but I don't think so. I think what happened here was there was just a little extra metal and it somehow got in the die and it somehow made the S look a lot more uh, different than normal. Um, so I said, okay, well, let me find another 1969 and see if I can find a mint mark on that one. So I found another 1969, but it's got the D. But what this will tell us is essentially where the mint mark goes. And this, this makes sense that it would go right about there. So there's a 9 and come over and there's a, nine, a D. Now this isn't a very great D either when you look at it, the old Denver mint. Um, so then I said, well, I want an S. The, the closest S I could find was 1970. And so there's a 1970 S. And you can see on the 1970 S, that's a different S. This one's a little smashed, and I think that came from you. See how it all got smashed along in there? Um, 
and you can't even read the initials of Felix Schlag here. So this S got smashed down, but still it should look like that, not like that. And I pulled a couple of videos, and one of them I looked at was uh, Big D Coins, who makes these great videos. And Big D um, had a 1969 S, and it looks S looks nothing like this. So he has this exact coin, except without the extra tail on it. And if you want to look at his video and see that this is nothing like the... Uh, the 1969 S that he has in his video. Now, are these valuable? Well, just a 1969 S has very little value. Um, if it's um, almost uncirculated, you might be able to get into the dollars. If it's uh, a proof, you maybe get into the few dollars. And there are some that if you can get like an MS, and I haven't seen a 67, but say an MS 66, you might be in the close to the tens of dollars. But this one I haven't seen. If any of you out there have anything that looks like this, I'd love to see it from you. And um, I don't know what to call it, but I think I'm just going to call it the 1969 snake coin because this looks to me kind of like a rattlesnake as it kind of wends its way around. It uh, looks like it's a rattlesnake kind of re ready to strike much more than it looks like an S um, uh, for the San Francisco Mint. All right, so they made 123 million of them and 2.9 million proofs at San Francisco that year. Uh, they made 203 at the Denver Mint, and I don't believe that year, unless I'm mistaken, they made any at the Philadelphia Mint. But even if they had, there would be no letter there. That's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel if you like world and international coin videos. And... Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions as to what went on here, please leave it in the comments section. Have a great day.